All right, look like a uh, piece of Christ all of you. I apologize, the sound was not coming correctly. Peace of Christ to all of you. And actually, I was playing the background uh, piano music, uh, but for some reason, uh, the sound was not coming correctly. Uh, good morning and uh, good evening, wherever you are. Uh, I hope today we'll have a good time together. And uh, later we will see how to fix this issue, why the sound is not coming from uh, the computer. Uh, you know, uh, I get many messages in Skype. Many, they want to talk to me in private. And I say always, I don't speak in private with anyone unless you are a Muslim. Only if you are a Muslim. I have nothing for private talk. Nothing. All right. So everything I say, everything I do is public. Private talk is not uh, something really I do. Nothing personal. But this is the rule for everybody. If you are a Muslim and you are talking private, then we can do that. All right. Uh, welcome, everybody. I hope uh, you guys are having a good time. And I hope we will have a, a nice uh, for me. It's a morning here uh, for those who they are in Asia. It's uh, it's evening or actually it's yeah, it's almost late at night. Uh, depend on your location. Uh, but all time is good as long you are you know using it in the right way uh, today is Saturday and as we said we will make uh, like once a week uh, time for Christians to call uh, so they can share with us and we can enjoy a good conversation so if you are interested to call just text me don't call me text me and say please call me Christian friends and I will call you back and you will be live on air because if you call and somebody else call, that will be disturbing. So I will text you, I will call you back based on the order I received the message of the text. This way everybody is happy and nobody will be left behind. So if you are interested to talk live on air, not in private, never ask me to talk to you in private, please. Not interested. Uh... Because why I want to talk in private anyway? I mean, if, if you have something to say, if you cannot say it in public, I don't want to hear it. Unless you are a Muslim. Hmm. If you have something you ask me for and you want it to be private, you can send me a text message. And then still, I'm going to talk about it in public, but I will not mention your name. As an example, somebody said to me, uh, like uh, there is a Muslim, it's, there is somebody, he became a Muslim, as he claimed. And why? Because uh, Christians celebrate uh, the birth of uh, Jesus in December 25th. I mean, look how silly, how stupid they execute. If this is true. Uh, first of all, my friend, everything in Islam is pagan. And now that the, the 25th of December is your problem? Let us say, don't celebrate the birth of Jesus in 25th of December. Who said you have to? The Eastern Church, they don't accept that date. Like the Orthodox. This is just a day. Nobody know exactly what a day is exactly. So it's 25th, 27. But what about your prophet? Your prophet sometime, every month, every year, his birthday is different. How do you accept that? And it happened many times he is coming his birthday in a pagan day. And what about a religion? You move to a religion kissing black stone. And you are upset from a Christians celebrating Christmas in the 25th of December. I mean, this is silly, stupid. But you know, when somebody is bankrupt, he come with all his uh, stupidity. Everything in Islam is is pagan. Going around a stone, bowing to a stone, kissing a stone, praying in the direction of a stone. All your religion is based on stones. You are you are from the Stone Age religion. And yet you are complaining about the 25th of December. Something wrong with you, my friend. Now, why CP afraid face to face debate, Mister Sayed? Why why you want face to face? I mean, what face to face mean? What about butt to butt? Do you like to do butt to butt? People are interested in my answer and your answer. So what face to face mean? I mean, this is stupid of you. Okay, here we go. You're Muslim. You do face to face. And what do you do about it? And then what will happen after face to face? What will happen next? Why TP he don't do face to face? I will tell you why. Because right now I'm sitting in my short, drinking my tea, and getting Allah busted. Well, no flight, no hotel, no going anywhere. Having fun. 
Did you see why? Why well, you want to go? And you know how many people you can gather for a place? Five hundred. I can gather here five thousand, fifty thousand, eighty thousand, one million. This is YouTube, my friend. This is this is face to face. But it is your excuse not to debate me. You know, the one who have an answer, he will debate me no matter where, how, and when, right? <clears throat> All right. Now, they are afraid of debating me, and this is the whole point. Otherwise, how come you are willing to debate people over Skype always? You always must them do that. Hmm? So now, what? Why it's me? I mean, the problem. I, the problem is simple. You don't dare. You are intimidated with the knowledge. Now, let us enjoy our day, my friend. Uh, Always the Muhammadan, they have their own excuses and their excuses is silly and funny and use their excuses against them. As an example, why you kiss the black stone? Because it's holy. And why it's holy? Because we, uh, the Prophet kissed it. <laughs> and why he kissed it? Because it's holy. Stupid cult. Literally, it's a stupid cult. It's a pagan cult and yet they throw their paganism at you. And they claim that you are the pagan person. Yeah, you have to text me. Don't call me in Skype. Don't call me. Text me. Say, can you call me, please? And I will call you. Don't call. Anyone will call directly. I will block you. Just text me. Says, can you please call me? This way we can take people in order and people will not jump in the top of it. They're calling like I will be live on air talking to somebody and people start calling, which is very annoying. You know, just text me says can you call me please and i will be happy to call you my friend all right we don't want to be like a bunch of uh, like my people you know my people want to go in the bus all of them in the same time but the door fit only for one you know what i mean if you go in the middle east those are my people they are very smart super smart everybody want to get in the bus from one small door in the same time at the end nobody get in Right. <clears throat> Let us not to be like my people. Uh, yeah, this is what they do. Honestly, this is what they do. You will lose your jacket, you will lose your t-shirt, you will lose your wallet before you get inside the bus. Why? Because everybody wanna get inside the bus at the same time. Arab, you know what you can say? Uh, this is Arabia. We'll come to Arabia. You speak to your cousin and say, cousin, we cannot do that. He says, cousin, if we don't do that, then we will not get in the bus. But cousin, we are not getting in the bus anyway. Don't you see? 100 people want to get in the bus at the same time and they are fighting. That is Arabia, my friend. <clears throat> uh, we are, you know, we, we have to be smart and intelligent. And here we go. And then now I did not get any message from anyone saying call me. That's funny. You know, I, I, I log in uh, Skype. I find like 1,000 people calling me when I am offline. All right. There are many debaters against Islam. Thank you guys like Brother Wahid, Brother Rashid. Thank you for... Yeah, there is many good people. Like the, uh, there is some names we know. Uh, they are doing great work in Arabic and uh, you see for me I choose to speak in English because nobody was covering the English part and they were converting people to Islam you know who speak English so I started this long time ago uh, but for sure uh, debating Islam in Arabic is a lot way easier for me uh, for many reasons Islam is based on Arabic language so I do not need to translate number two uh, English is not my first language as you know which means I have a weakness in English Sometimes I want to say something, I don't uh, choose the right word, you know, because it's not my first language. I mean, as simple as that. Uh, but still, the Lord is our, our supporter. He's our provider with knowledge and faith. And, you know, we, uh, we were able to accomplish a lot and make a lot, a lot, a lot of Muslims leave this cult and, you know, join in Christianity, even with our, let us say, with my uh, uh, not uh, good quality English. All right. And the reason for that is number one, 
uh, you want to call me send me send me the call in send me your text my friend in skype not here in, in, the, in the chat if you want me to call you send me your text in the chat in the skype not here not in the chat of youtube you have to text me in skype says please can you call me <clears throat> Uh, PS4, I want to show you guys how Muslims, how we can answer Muslims using their silly logic. Okay, this is a Muslim, he is speaking in Arabic. This is a Muslim who is speaking in Arabic. He is saying, your Lord who ran away from the Jews. First of all, the one who ran away in the Jews is Isa and Allah. The Jews, they came to kill Isa, what, what Allah he did. He sent him a limousine, he took him to heaven and he put someone in the stead of him in the cross, not my Lord. My Lord, he knew in advance, actually he told his followers, his disciples, who is going to de deliver him, who is going to betray him, who is going to deny him in advance. So he can run, but he did not. So the coward actually is your God, Allah. He could not face the Jews, yet he ran away with Isa. And about running away, you idiot. Isn't it your prophet here on the way to the Christians, kissing the shoes of a Christian king in Ethiopia, asking for refuge? And then he gave him a refuge. Isn't it your prophet who ran away to the Jews? To the Jews! that You believe it? To the Jews! Huh? The city, city of Yathrib, which is called now uh, 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 al Medina. Look who's talking about who ran away. Aren't you right now running away, leaving your land as a refugee, coming to, to, the, to the Christian land? So don't talk about cowardness. I never saw cowardness as Allah and as his prophet. Because a coward is a man who attack people when they are drinking their water, feeding their cattle, and they have no war with them. Right? So I hope you get the answer. <clears throat> this person, he's speaking Arabic, saying, leave, leave Isa alone. Why do you want to leave Isa alone? You see how stupid you are? The second I got you busted with the story of Isa in the Quran, you said, leave Isa alone. So Isa is a coward is okay. <laughs> Actually, Isa in Islam is not a coward. It's your God is a coward. He ran away from the Jews. He could not face the Jews because they want to kill Isa. So what he do? He ran away with Isa. And by the way, where's your God? You're a prophet. He ran away from the Jews. You're a prophet, you run away from his family. You're a prophet, run away from his tribe. You're a prophet. What what happened to your prophet when he went to at Taif? Do you know? They spit at him, they beat him, they spank him, and the coward, he stays for two weeks out of his town, so nobody will know. But they got him busted. They sent the news all the way. Even his wife, Aisha, she heard what happened to Muhammad before he arrived. So he stayed for two weeks after they beat him and made him, his, his, his lips became like a balloon. His mouth, his nose became like a bear. This, do you want to show you the story? In the front of everybody, Mr. PS4, PlayStation boy, call me and I will make you read the story live on air. Hmm? Do you dare? Do you dare? Do you dare? Uh, do you dare? <laughs> And the funny, the Muslims, they say that the Prophet, he stayed away from his town because he don't want anyone to know. Look how coward he is. He's hiding the truth. He, he's ashamed that they went there. <laughs> Why? Just go inside and tell them, uh, you know, this is what happened. Be honest. But he's, a, but he's a fraud. He is a fraud. He tried to hide it. I can make you read the story from your own books. Even today, like we are talking, we don't want to talk about the, the faith of Islam, but no problem. I, uh, you know, spanking is my uh, best. Uh, huh? Be a man, be a man if you are. Hmm. And you know, here we go. Your God, Allah, the coward. Al Qurmuti, he came to the Kaaba, he destroyed the Kaaba, he was screaming, Where are you, Allah? He took the black stone for 21 years and the muslim to get the black stone do you know what they did they have to bribe him if you don't believe me i will make it read it from your book all right uh, no my my skype is not off i'm in skype okay all right 
first one saying can you call me no problem don't ask me guys in Skype how are you don't ask me tell me ask me how you doing please I mean I have thousands of people in my Skype don't don't waste your time and my time just if you want me to call you just text me says call me please here we go we have the first person he asked me to call I'm calling him back look like his internet is not good Yes, my friend. Go ahead. You are live on air. Hello. Hello, hello. You are live on air. Go ahead. Hello. My friend, I hear you. Go ahead. Your voice is cracking. Yeah, because the internet is not good, I think. So I can Yes, my friend. Actually, I think in the last video, the Okay. Uh, in the last video, I think, or the, before it, you said that uh, Farid won't uh, dare to call you. Uh, and you said if he if he's a courage, he will come and say what he said in his videos, right? Correct. Huh? Yes. I can't hear. My friend. Okay, can, I, can we do a refutation for the 100 lie right now with you? Are you, are you Farid? Hmm? Are you Farid? I'm not worried, don't worry. All right. But, you know, like, uh, I want you to make okay. your own 100 lie. I mean, the guy, he is the one who come with it. So do you speak Arabic? Yeah, alhamdulillah, I speak. All right. So what, Somehow, okay, yeah. okay, go ahead. Choose, choose a lie and let us go for it. <clears throat> okay. Choose uh, I choose lie one hundred. Okay. Why you don't choose lie number one? Why no, 100? What about 99? Uh, I mean, uh, uh, there's a certain lies I have looked. I didn't look at all of the lies, but you can... Uh, lie number one was about uh, Paul in the Quran. Okay, lie number one, go off to it. Oh, Paul in the Quran, all right. Okay, lie number one. Okay, what is the lie? Go ahead. Okay, not in the commentaries, in the Quran. Oh, so in the commentary, you agree that Paul in the Quran, but in the Quran, Paul is not in the Quran. No, my friend, you hear you hear my voice clearly. You just admitted that in the commentary in the Muslims they say that Paul in the Quran, but in the Quran it doesn't say that, correct? Your voice is cutting a lot, Allah. No, my friend, don't tell me wallahi. Don't tell me wallahi. You hear me very well. You just admitted that the name of Paul is in the Quran according to the commentary. Don't change, don't change, don't change, don't don't change. You see, you got busted in a second. You just admitted that in the commentary of the Muslims, don't don't listen to me from YouTube. Listen to me from Skype. Don't listen to me from YouTube. Close YouTube. Close YouTube. Mute YouTube. Mute, just just to mute YouTube. All right. So you just admitted that in the commentary of the Muslims. Hmm. No, no, the comment, the com uh, read the commentaries by uh, Shaib al Jabai. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Or, or you know, no, no, bring the same, no, bring the same, uh, the same resource that you brought it with Muhammad Hijab. This is on page number five hundred and four. Let's hmm? uh, read it together. No problem. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Why? Hold on. Yes, this is on page four oh four. You read it with Muhammad Hijab. Okay, okay, hold, hold, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me get it for you. Okay. Right. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Only this one you want? I'm going to you for the reference. Only this one you want? That's the salam be for 100. I mean, bring your source. All right, you here have, we go. Uh, That's the oh. salam you said? For 104? All right, hold on. Same resource you used with Muhammad Hijab. They trade it. We have endless source. Just hold on. Okay. 
And I'm glad that you speak Arabic, so that will be wonderful. Huh? <clears throat> as long as you speak Arabic, that's wonderful. Hey, give me a second, Wait. please. I'm just going to put it for you on the screen. Okay. Yeah, I'm just getting the reference. Okay, take your time. So, can you tell me about, uh, until I, I, I put it on the screen, can you tell me what you want to say about this reference? Huh? Your voice will lie. Okay, uh, I'm saying, can you tell me what you like, what you want to say about this reference, the one I provided to Mimi Hijab? Wait, Recipe, please raise your voice. Hmm? Your voice, your voice. I'm saying, what do you, what do you, what do you want to say about the tafsir I gave to Mimi Hijab? To read it with you now because there's something I want to show you and show the audience. All right. Even Sam Shamoon, mashallah, he, he took it and want to translate it, you know. So hmm. let us read it together. All right, here no we problem. go. It's it's in front of me. Read it for us. Go ahead. Okay, I'll read it for you. No problem. Hmm. Just you bring it in the screen, okay? No problem. All right, we are reading. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I'm waiting. I, I can't see it in the screen. So what you will do now? See it in the screen. Who is holding you? Don't you have it in your side? Don't no, read. It don't read. Don't read from my screen. Read no, from no. your side. The same book. No, no. I didn't. I, I didn't prepare anything. I, I'm waiting for you to bring it in your screen. Okay, it's in my screen. No, no, there's a, the image of a world uh, and skies in your screen. Uh, ref right refresh your, uh, maybe your internet is slow, it's going to take some time. I advise you to open it from your uh -huh. side and read then. Okay, okay. Open it, it open it from your side. Hmm? I'll read it. That will save okay. us time. Okay. Hmm. There's an advertisement. No, there is a, there is a, there is a, there is a, the sky is, uh, you know. Hmm? My friend, why are you wasting the my the time? You are, you are the one who chose the lie, and now you don't want to read the lie. So what we will do now? No. Read it. No. Image, image of skies and earth. There's no screen. There's no, no. My there's friend, no open the there's book. No, the screen. Oh, sorry. It's my, uh, uh, okay. Sorry. It's my, it's my fault. Okay. I, I, I have, uh. Okay, no. All right, all right, all right. Okay, here we I'm go. I'm used to it. I'm, all right. used to it. No problem. No problem. Go ahead. Now it's in the sc uh, screen. Sorry, it's, I wasn't looking. No problem. <coughs> now nothing. Hmm. Okay, why you don't open it from your side, even if it's in the screen or not in the screen? Why you don't open the book? Aren't you a knowledgeable person? Don't you know where to find it? No, uh, no, no, it came, yeah. No, okay, it came. okay. Okay. Mm. Read. Okay. From uh, uh, the, the way you write, okay. I mean, I, I mean, can you make it like a more broader, expanded? My friend, don't waste my time. You told me you know a lie. Just tell me what is the lie. Go ahead. It says the report is uh, not the issue. It's not, it's fabricated. After the where, where it says it's fabricated, where it says that. Go ahead. Move, move down, please. Okay, I'm moving down. Okay. Scroll down. Okay. Hmm. Move down. Here we the go. This is the, the this, this the is this is this is this is the end of the page. This is the end of the page. I'm re I'm waiting for you. Go ahead. Okay. Read, read and translate, read and translate. Okay. 
أو صدقة من أهل دمشق فرجل قال له طينة وكان مخفيا في مغارة داخل باب شرقي مختفيا نات مخفيا مختفيا مختفيا نات مخفيا مختفيا مختفيا في مغارة داخل الباب الشرقي قريب no no the part that says week is not down where where here we go this is the end of the page my friend here we go let me show you there is nothing more that's it this is the end of the page where it says that this hadith is weak and where it says what you are saying move up move up please huh a bit move up move up okay move up where a bit to get okay i will move the skype لو كانوا مرة مركز يحنا وكثير نقص بالنسبة إلى أخرى هؤلاء أربعة منهم اثنان من أدرك المسيح وراهم من ذي يحنا أصحابه. You are in trouble, my friend. You are in trouble. You just confirm what I said. No, no, no. What? No, no, no. Okay, where it says what you are saying? Where it says that? I'm just waiting for you, my friend. You are the one who is ready. You are the one who chose the lie. You you claim it's a lie. And now you cannot find what where is the lie? Where is the lie? Where it says this is a week or what are you talking about? Okay, I I will bring it from my side and then we'll talk. Let's go to uh, one hundred. What do you no 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 no? Don't go do it now. You do it now. You know either you get either you get me busted or I will get you busted. So do you admit that you are lying yourself? No, I'm not lying. Then sh I, don't show I, me the pa the page the page in the front of I, I, then the page in I, the pa the page I, in the front. The page in the front of us. I'm I'm waiting for you. I will stay with you for the coming two hours. Show me what it say. What you said. You're moving. You're moving up and down. I will screenshot for you and and I will send you. My friend, don't don't. No no no. Right now in the front of every. Right now in the front of everybody. Show me where it says that. Your screen is moving up and down. I can't. My friend, you are the one who told me move it up. I did move it up because you said to me move it up. I move it down because you say to me, move it down. Here we go. Move it. What you alleq? You alleq? Shino you alleq? Hada? Shino hada you alleq? Isma, isma. Do you know? Do you know what exactly it says that? Do you know where it says that? After the after it says, وكان ممن آمن بالمسيح وصدقه or before. Wait. The part that you read was من آمن بالمسيح وصدقه من أهل دمشق رجال إيوه. You read from this. Yeah. The one. Yeah, and where it says this hadith is is weak. This report. Where? Your screen. I will bring it from my screen. Screen is. Oh, I told you to open the book from your side from the beginning. You you know you you don't you want in my screen? You will go. Allah didn't prepare. No. Sorry. I thought you are the one who chose the thing. Why did not prepare? You are the one who called me. I wanted like one hundred, but you said one one one. I didn't prepare, but no, I don't know if this is enough. I I didn't I did not say number one or number one. I'm asking you why why one hundred. Okay, CP. Okay, I apologize. Allah, sorry, huh? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Now let's go to like one hundred. Where you said so? No, no, you apologize about what? So I was telling the truth about Paul. Then you apologize. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Then show it to me. No, no. Before we we will go to lie number one. No problem. Show me now number nine. The lie number. This is one. This is number one or one hundred. This one you want to ask me for about Paul. Is that number one? Uh, you said one. Yeah. Is it one? I don't know. It's you who's to choose, and you are the one said to me about Paul. So we open for you about Paul. No, lie one hundred. Go to lie one hundred. No, no, no. Finish this one first. Where it says what you are saying. Otherwise, you have to apologize and say I'm lying. I am the same as Mimi Hijab. No, no. I'm not lying. Then show me. Then show me. You speak Arabic. I speak Arabic. Everybody is watching. I'm waiting for you. Okay, wait one minute. I'll open it for me. Okay. Okay. Guys, he's asking me to download it from Google or not. So you you know it's a lie. You did read it and you know where is the lie and now you cannot find the lie. I remember so from you, it. What no, you, no, you, from, from, I remember when I read it from the 
this debate. My friend, it this is your debate. this is your website, Islamport.com. Your, your screen is uh, yeah, it's stuck in me. It's stuck in yeah, it's stuck in. You know, you need. Did you say Inshallah before you call me? You did not say Inshallah. This is what's happening to you when you didn't say Inshallah. Yeah, okay. Like you are like me, hijab. You are a fake Muslim. You don't say Inshallah. Okay, okay, let's go to our lives. No, 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 we will not go until you get me busted. Here we go. You choose one. That's very important. If you could not prove this one, if you cannot, let's, if you could not prove this. Friend, at first, I wanted lie 100. Then you said, one, listen, two, listen, listen, one. listen. Okay. You are the one who let's choose it. Okay, I don't know if this is the 100 or 1000. You are the one who said to me, open this. Okay, let me open, download it just. <laughs> Your screen is. <coughs> Today, everybody will see that you and Mimi and Fifi, all of you are a bunch of liars. You accuse me of lying, but you are guys are liars. Okay, Imam Mura, calm down, calm down, Imam Mura. What? Okay, let me start. Calm down, Imam Mura. I said calm down. Imam Mura? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay, Imam Zatut, Imam Zatut, you are an Imam Zatut, look what happened to you, you are a joker now, everybody is laughing at you. Everyone is laughing at you. Yeah. Okay, sure. This is what happened when you call Farid my uncle and Mimi Hijab my mom. Why you don't call Farid to call me? And so we can laugh at both of you at the same time. Uh, Farid has no time for you. Oh, he has no he time for me. Ah, he, he has no time for me, but he has to time to make 100 video. He's a kid. <laughs> like like, like you, like, like you, he like you, you are a kid like him. And here we go. You call, this is a very important matter about Paul. Mm -hmm. And now you Muslims claiming it's a lie. And look at you. Where it says what you are saying, show me the, the page in front of me. This is the same book. This is your Islamic website. I have nothing to do with it. I'm searching with it. Yeah, keep searching. I'm waiting for you. <clears throat> Hit the keyboard harder, my friend. You're not hitting hard. Hit hard. Uh, uh, hit, yes. hit the keyboard hard so he can find you what you are looking for. <clears throat> Mayday, Mayday. If Fifi is listening, please help this guy. Fifi is needed. Mimi is needed. Allah is needed. Muhammad, uh, you know, the, the black stone kisser, he cannot help you. No one. I don't need anyone. So where? I'm waiting for you. How long I'm going to wait? Download. What do you mean download? It's a page, my friend. It's a page. Well, you don't need to download it. Open the open open their website. You know where to find it. You are a scholar. You are like you, you are you are the, the master of Mimi Hijab. And now you do not know where to find it. Very very embarrassing. Very embarrassing, my friend. Very very embarrassing, my friend. 
let's go to live one. No, 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 we let's will not go. go. Uh, okay. No, if you admit, if you, if you, if you, if you admit, if you, if listen, if you admit, if you admit right now that you were lying, if you admit that you were lying, and Mimi Hijab is a liar, and Fifi is a liar, and you are a bunch of us. You, man, then, Muhammad, then, you then, you, then, then you uh, no, no, no. Me, 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 Hijab, he did not even dare to debate me. You finish me see, what? He played see, for me. He played. Hijab, he, see, see, me, me, Hijab, prove that you read incorrectly. Prove that you cannot read. You I, don't know what's hold, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just corrected you when you are reading. You said Mukhfiyan. Uh, 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 I said to you Mukhtafiyan. So who's the one do not know how to read? So if you are saying to me, hold on, shut up, shut up, shut up. Don't, shut up, shut up. Did I correct you? Did I correct you a second ago and you admitted yes, you are right? So listen, so listen, potato, listen, potato, listen. You are a potato trying to change the topic because you got busted. You and Farid and Mimi Hijab in one head. No problem. I will return to it. No problem. Let go. What do you mean? No, no. What do you mean? No problem. So do, do you admit that you were? Do you, so do you know before before you change the topic? Do you admit you were lying? You and Fifi and Mimi. No, I was. I wasn't. Uh, I'm talking about myself. No, I, I wasn't lying. So you were not. Li then show it to me. Here we go. Why are we? Why you want to change? In the in the last even in the last last uh, live stream like uh, with uh, Mahdi. I mm. caught you in many mistakes. No problem. Said, so why said, you cannot quote me now with the mistake? Okay, my, my Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. Listen, 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 Abdul. All of you. Okay, you see. Let us say. Let us say. I am ignorant, stupid, like your prophet who do not know how to read his name. Are you saying that? What? Are you saying I'm a stupid? I do not know how to read like your prophet. Are you, you are you saying okay? I am a scholar and I got you busted. Here we go in the in the front of in the front of everybody. Shh, shh, shh. Listen in the front of everybody. You have a chance to prove me wrong. Don't lose my voice. Can you please show me where you are saying I'm lying? Please, go ahead. Okay, okay, yeah, my friend. See now it's stuck. In. Downloading is stuck. In. The, I will tell you what is stuck. I, I will tell you what is stuck. It's something stuck. It's called miswak. There's a guy. There's a story. It says a guy. He put a miswak in his anus. Do you know the story? And then Allah, He made him deliver a, a, a you know, deliver you know, a rat. Do you know that God had sex with the, a woman in the Bible? Do you know? God have sex with a woman in the Bible? God had sex with a woman in the Bible. Ah, oh, God have sex I with women in the Bible. The okay, the just Bible. just shut up, coward! You uh, son of Muta, <clears throat> coward! Great temperance, I'm going to get you both at the great temperance. Coward potato, like your prophet. In a second, he start changing the topic. I hope this is spanking is very good. This is a spanking for you, for Fifi, for Mimi. Because the three of you, you could not prove me wrong. You prove me wrong when I am not talking to you. And the Muslim will shake their head, you know, right away he's changing and change the topic. Coward, potato, it's you. You are, you are the one who chose it. <laughs> what a potato. Garbage in, garbage out, my friend. <clears throat> garbage in, garbage out. Hey, Christian Prince, I'm going to get you busted and I'm going to throw you the 100 light. Okay, where? Here we go. Show me where it says that. <laughs> Where? I'm gonna show you that God he have sex with the women. The Bible God have sex with the women? Are you stupid or what? <laughs> I can show you from the Quran that your God Allah is saying if he wanna have sex, he will have sex with the whore. Do you want to show you? Here we go. Let us do it. Just for fun. Give me a second. <laughs> Imam Murrah. Hmm. Potato Nation. <sighs> Potato Nation. <clears throat> And now we understand why they are heroes when they speak by themselves. But the second they call me, they got busted. Stupidity.
Hmm? Let us see who is the one who want to have sex with women. My God or your God? This is funny, by the way. This is new. Your God have sex with women in the Bible. Really? Are you through a brother? Yes, a brother. Okay. Let us open uh, Islamic tafsir. I will put it in the screen in a second. Give me a second, please. So they will not say I'm making things up because you know them. You know them. For those who want me to call, just wait, please, until we finish this. <clears throat> Give me a second. Chapter 21, verse number 17. And this is translated by you. Which means by you, Muhammadan, not by me. Hmm? So this is your Quran, chapter 21, verse number 17. What chapter 21, verse number 17 saying? According to the Muhammadan, not to me. All right. Read carefully, Abdul. Oh, I forgot you are you you, uh, you do not know how to read. You are literate like your prophet. Had we desired to find a diversion, that which provides diversions in the way of a partner or a child, we would have found it with ourselves, from among the beautiful eyed huris or the angels. Allah is going to have sex with the angels <laughs> and the huris. Who is the God who's Look at this God. If you would like to have a partner, what partner? Lahwan in Arabic means women. Lahwan, this word here, mean Arabic. I mean, sorry, I mean women. So Lahwan, Allah saying, if you want to have a woman for fun, and look how insulting it is, for fun. Huh? Boom, boom. The God of boom, boom. No wonder he promised you. And look, the coward Allah, he promised you women in heaven, but yet he is playing with them already saying maybe I would have sex with them. Even the angels are not saved from the private part of Allah. And here we need to other, ask a question. If Allah is God, how it is possible for this God to have sex with a human and they are huris? Because whores are women. You see, to have sex with the kind, you have to be from the same kind. Unless you are having sex with animals. This is in your book, my friend, and this is your interpretation. And you are a potato, and you've been fried, and you've been served. This is your book. Who no knows, CP? It, you know, with the with the with the with the homo uh, stuff uh, for voice. No CP. It doesn't say that CP. Okay, show me where. Potato, tomato. Potato, tomato, salad on the table of Christian Prince. This is God. And the Muslim, they will say to you, but we it, uh, it says there we never desired it. So what? You see, if you did not desire it, he's just saying, I did not desire it, but it's possible. What is the possibility for Allah to take a hurry? It's the desire only. If he desire, he will take. If you don't desire, he will not. But he is the one who chooses who is going to be fit in his bedroom. Either the Huris or the angels, as you see. So if your God is not a human, how come he is taking a partner as a wife? Which is a human. If you don't like this interpretation, we can show you a different one. I'm just showing you your official Islamic website of the Kingdom of Jordan, Tafsir al-Jalalain. Hmm? You don't like a jalalain? We show you the front one, no problem. Which one you like? Potato cult. Hmm? Read carefully. If we had wished to find the pastime, if we wish to have a daughter, and if it says it's mean if you wish to have a wife, and also it's that that's mean if we wish to have a children's. <laughs> I mean, and also, and also, and also. Which also of them? This is supposed to be interpretation. This is the interpretation of the confused nation of the Muhammadan. 
It may be brother, Allah he mean brother, and Allah may be brother, he is mean brother, and okay, well, and, and, and now you change the interpretation. The other guy will start guessing something else. <clears throat> Potato, 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 tomato, 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 potato, 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 potato. I'm losing my voice because I drank too much coffee today. <laughs> but you know the the first interpretation is more hilarious. Allah is going to have a partner. He named it as the Huri, you know the Hur. You know. I mean, how how that how how that why Allah even think about it? He is a human or he is God? Because if I am God and I'm thinking about a partner and I am making my choice, if I want, I will choose it from those. Okay, but those are human. How Allah is going to have uh, such a party? You know, in the bedroom, a human and God. Huh? So the Muhammadan, they get so excited, and then because they have too much air, they get a flat tire. Let us see. Uh, don't send me, I would like to add you to Skype. Just send me if you want me to call you back, please. And don't add me to Skype if you don't like me to like to to speak. I mean, I, I open my Skype every second. I, I would like to add in my Skype. I would like to add it. So why you want to add me in Skype? Now we go back to our topic. G good spanking in the morning, isn't it? Isn't it? Call Farid. Okay, I will call Farid. But you have to agree. Did he agree? You have to give me his Skype. And you have to say, hey, Christian Prince, call me. We will go live and I will call him, no problem. I will call him right now. Okay, if Farid right now is a brave, he can just call me and say, uh, I'm preparing myself for you. Call me after one minute or five minutes. I will do it. We are asking them to call me, actually. I mean, everybody is welcome. Here we go. My Skype is open. Anyone. Fifi, Mimi, Juju, Susu, all of them. All the black stone kissers are welcome to kiss the black stone and call me after because I want you to get the power, the power of the black stone. Mm -hmm. Anyway, <clears throat> so shall we change the topic now? We go back to uh, to our Saturday. <laughs> you know, I mean, look, we welcome them always to call us. And they never meet. The funny, they always victorious when they are talking to themselves. The second they call me, they got busted. So I'm lying when they make a video, talking to themselves, and all the Muslims agree. The second they call me, they have a flat tire. They have a four flat tire. I said, I said, don't call me. I said, text me, text me, and I will call you. Listen to the rules. Text me and I will call you. <clears throat> All right, just text me first and I will call you. So, my friend, because they are trembling, look what Christian Prince is doing to them. Christian Prince, you do not know how to read the brother. Christian Prince, uh, maybe Hijabi corrected you. <laughs> you know, their, their prophet, he did not know how to read his name. And look who is talking about correct. You know, we are the Arabic Christians. We are the best in Arabic in the world. 
all the highest scholar of the Arabic, the poetry written before Islam are Arab Christians. You believe it? All of them, with no exception. Potato, tomato, potato, 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 tomato. All right. <clears throat> you text me there. Text me in Skype. Text me in Skype. Says call me, please. Not in the chat there. I know what's wrong with people. Let us make call this lady here. <clears throat> If you want me to call you, text me in Skype, says, can you call me, please? Not in the chat there. How are you doing? Hello, hello. And now when we call, uh, she hang up. So she call her a thousand times. When we call her, she hang up. What we will do? Anyway, <clears throat> Islam is a very silly, stupid cult. Cannot stand even a little, little rock, you know, if you, not to throw it at it, to put it in the top of its head. The second you start asking questions about this cult, Islam collapse. And you know, if we use the same logic Muslims they use against us, you will see how easy to destroy Islam. Just use their logic. Don't use yours. Never use yours. Use their logic. Because their logic is upside down. They themselves, they have no idea how to, to, to answer their logic. You know? Okay. <laughs> I apologize today, my voice is not good. This is what happens when I drink too much coffee. I know some I think Skype take time to reach the other person to notice that they are receiving a call. Oh. Oh. Second person told me call, we call. They did not answer. Okay, let us try the other Man, it says connecting. I guess there is something wrong with the Skype. Let me restart this Skype because it says connecting. Huh. Okay, it says you are unavailable. All right. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on air. Go ahead. Hello? We hear you. You are live on air. Uh, I can be, I can barely hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you very well. Hello? I hear you very well, my friend. I, I hear you very well. I hear you. Go ahead. Okay. Well, I will restart my Skype. Maybe there is an issue with my Skype. Hold on. You never know. <clears throat> Let us restart again. Hmm. 
Okay, let's try again this person. <laughs> it takes time, I don't know, the Skype is not... It acts sometimes. See, I'm sure he's online, but um, it take time to uh, start ringing on the other side. Okay, it looks like the ear is not working. Let us see the other person. It says he is offline. Uh, The second person. Ah, look, I don't know. Your call. Ah, I don't know what's wrong. All right, I don't know. Uh, we tried to call two people, it still is not working. Uh... Yeah, he's trying to call me too, but it's not working. Here we go, finally. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend, you are live on air, go ahead. Can you hear me now? I hear you, go ahead. People have a bad internet. Uh, for for sure, my side it's it's fine. Yes, then, uh, Go ahead. Hello. Yes, we hear you. Go ahead. Oh my! I can't hear you. I don't know why you cannot hear me. Why he would not be able to hear me? Wait! Wait a second! Wait a second! Don't you don't uh, don't listen to me from YouTube. Listen to me from Skype. Okay, okay, I, I'm I'm hearing you. Uh, I'm uh, I'm from Lebanon. All right. You know I'm I'm uh, I'm a Christian. All right. And uh, I'm ha having big doubt, big doubts. Uh, wait, wait. I'm having big doubts about uh, Christianity. Mm, okay. You know? So so you know you are a Christian. You say. First of all. You said I doubt, I doubt, you, you, you you said you are a Christian. You, no problem. You you said you are a Christian, right? Yes, yes. Okay. I'm from what do you know about the book of a chromosome in the Bible? What did you know anything what? about the book of a chromosome from the Bible? Uh, no. No. Okay. What book you remember from the uh, Bible? What what name of the books you remember from the Bible? No, no, man, man, I, I, I'm literally a Christian. Uh, yep. I hate Islam, you know. Oh, and, uh, okay. I don't believe about it. Hmm. But 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 you know but you know nothing but you know nothing about Christianity too. I just ask okay. you a funny name about the, a book in the Bible. It's not exist. You, you know, if you are really a Christian, you should know that there is no such a book. No, no, man, I I don't read the lot the Bible. Oh, you don't read a lot of Bible, so, school, so oh, but you, but you, they did not teach school, you anything. Teach yeah, yeah, but they did not teach you anything, my friend. You Wait, do not know anything about Christianity. 
Do you know? Yes, yes, I know. Okay, do you know what is the prayer the, the, the Lord, the Messiah, he told us to pray when we pray? Do you know? Yes, of course. Okay, what is it? Mm, okay. Okay, so what do you want to say to me, my, my friend? Go ahead. Mm. So, uh, like, I, I have some question for you, you know? Sure, go ahead. Do you believe in evolution? In what? Do you believe in uh, evolution? Yeah, sure. You know, like, I, I know, I, I used to have a chicken in my backyard, and one day, uh, you know, I, I went in the backyard, I found it to be a turtle. So, yeah, this is true. No, no. I mean, I mean, like, Christians can believe in, in the evolution or no yeah well we believe but not because the not the evolution the, the not the evolution the atheists speak about we believe that you know like if you are a person who live in the mountains uh, you know you will have different buildings for your body so yeah. you can uh, able to live survive uh, or you know if you are a person who live uh, uh, in the desert so you know god provide you with way of survival the same for the animals that is the evolution we uh, believe in it but uh, not like somebody used to be a mosquito and then he became a frog. Yes, okay. Hmm. Uh, I have a second question. All right. Do, do you believe everything in the Bible? Editing? Even if uh, in the last testament. What do you mean? The Old Testament. Like, what do you mean by editing? Like what? For, for example, okay. For example, I have big doubts about uh, Adam hmm. that lived uh, more than 900 years. Why you have a big doubt? Why you have? Why it's hard? Because because now with all the technology and all the medicine, and mm. we can we cannot live uh, till uh, one hundred. No How problem. But uh, no, my friend. You see, my, my, no, no, my friend. Listen, uh, if you believe in science, then you should know that if you change things in this earth, the way the, the you know some stuff it changes. As an example, if we increase the size or the the, yeah. the the size of oxygen in the in the earth. Then the chicken will be in the size of an elephant. Do yeah. you know that? And then the spider will be bigger than your house. Just increase the oxygen in the earth. So, you know, what you are judging by what you know now, not, ju not judging by what they have uh, at that time. So, if it's impossible for us to believe, well, I know people who live 100, 120 years, 113 years. My grandfather, he died, I think, at the age of 113. But... Most of people they die at the yes. age of, uh, of the not, age of sixty. Uh, One thousand years. My friend, my friend. But this is this is something can be changeable. Like now you are talking about science, right? Okay. But because of science, many people are not dying yes. today from many diseases, right? So, what what caused the death? What caused the death? Right. Reasons. There is reasons for death, and the same the same way for aging. According to now, according to science, they are trying to find the cure of aging. So we can, we do we do stop aging. Did you hear that? No. No, you can search it. So they well, are. They, can you can you repeat? Can you repeat? Please? They are saying that there is there is some adjustment in the DNA, and that will change the aging. So you will not age. You will stay young. You will stay youth. So. They are working hard in that, and we will see if they can do that. So, if a scientist he can do that, God cannot do it. Yes, he can. Okay, so the answer that your question is answered. God, He can make Adam live a thousand or two thousand years, or He can make him live for a, a, a you know why an animal he live less than us, you know, like uh, if, if you if, okay. if if you uh, the insect there is some insect they live only like a week or two, okay. So if you tell an insect there is a there is a creature he live like uh, one hundred year the insect will laugh like ha 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 it's impossible we live only a few weeks so depend in you know uh, who is the one receiving the information and who is the one staying the information so what is impossible for you it is possible for God yes yes hmm. you know f first when uh, i began to doubt about christianity hmm. you know, i i searched about islam hmm. and uh, i used to to hear the imams muslim imams and uh, they, they make me doubt a lot uh, like i feel that islam was the right way you know but after that when i uh, search a, a lot about islam i know that this this is not a religion you know uh, and uh, they use a lot to, to lie, 
fly out to Shanity. Mm. Yeah, this like is they cool. say, like for example, they say uh, Jesus was not God, and he never claimed that. No, this is a big lie. I searched and I read a lot about it. All right. Okay. How, how old? How, how old are you? My, uh, how old are you, my friend? I'm twenty. All right, my friend. Listen, people, they will say to you whatever they want to say. Me, me too. Like I just give you an answer, but you don't. You should not accept answers unless they are convincing. And you better do your own search, right? Yes. God, He gave you a yes, gift. Yes. It's called the brain, yes. and He 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 make you able to think. So when somebody said yes. some, something to you, regardless who Christian or a Muslim or an atheist, it doesn't matter. Go and check it out and yes. search it. If it's true, it's true. If it's not, it's false. Yes. Okay. But and uh, I like to say that. Uh, I don't know why they call uh, Jesus Isa. Uh, like, uh, because, uh, uh, because I because I believe because mostly I think uh, uh, Maryam, the sister of Aaron, she have a son. His name is Isa or Iso. So Muhammad, he yeah. thought that the son of the, the the son of Maryam, the sister of Aaron, the the, the, the which means the nephew of Moses, he is the same uh, Jesus. <coughs> so he call him Isa, <laughs> which yeah, mean Muhammad, like, uh, I, uh, which mean Muhammad is a stupid person. Oh. Because in my book, in my book, Jesus is Yeshua, not Isa. Exactly, Yeshua is coming from the word Yeshua in Hebrew. So you are Lebanese. You say Yeshua, yeah. and uh, you know Yeshua al Masih. So when you say that, you are giving the correct name because Yeshua in in the uh, in one accent of the Aramaic, Yeshua is in uh, in the in the Hebrew accent. Yeah. Okay, so I have a second question. Okay, All right. do you believe in miracles made by uh, saints? I believe miracles saints. miracles made by God, not by saints. Which which mean? Yeah, yeah. If yes, I, by, but by the hand of uh, saints. Yes, For example, well, yeah, sure, uh, sure. Saint Charbel. I don't, I, 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 my friend, don't ask me about people. You know, I don't know them. I I believe in God. He can do use people to make miracles using His power. But I don't believe in no. people. I believe in don't God. Be. So if I am a person who prayed for you to be healed, yeah. I am not the one who saved you. It's God. So let us say, do you believe in the Christian prince? No, you should not believe in Christian prince. You should believe in God. The one who healed you is God, not me. So yes, yes, I know, I know. Yeah. So but, don't. But you believe that uh, sometimes, like uh, for example, Jesus is uh, using saints for miracles. Yes. Well, God, He used all of us, my friend. It's a miracle that you, you, as as a, as a human being have a lot of features that animals don't have this is a miracle by itself you are a walking talking miracle you know the best miracle yes, of yes, the yes. best the first miracle miracle of god you can witness yourself is you i mean look at you like now you they are trying to make a smart house correct so yes. they have a smart light smart uh, light sensor smart wi-fi light smart uh, uh, voice command but look at your body if somebody touch you just down in your toes, you will feel it immediately. That is a sensor nobody can create. You feel heat so easy. Yes. If you if you put your hand close to the fire, you do not need to touch the fire to feel. It. This is this is this is a this is a miracle. You see, the, the skin of a human being is a miracle. The the eyes, how complicated it is. There's no camera until now can see as eyes, which means to to reality because cameras cannot really provide correct color, correct scene, correct dimensions. Yeah. Only eyes can do that okay. until now. So, God is miraculous. He is a miracle, and everything come from Him is a miracle. Yes, but uh, that was not my question. You know, for example, I don't know, my count. My friend, I know your question. I know your question. I know your question. There is some people they call them yeah. saints. They might be saint. They might be not. But this is not what you should yes. focus in. You should focus in God, who do miracles yeah, through I people. Know, I know. Hmm. I know, but. Uh, this is uh, like uh, it's making a lot of uh, debate between Christians, you know. Hmm. Like a lot believe and a lot know. It doesn't matter, like, you, my friend. You believe or you don't believe, that will not uh, uh, have a, a, a problem because because I believe in God or not. This is the issue. So if a person, because, if a person, we don't believe in that, my friend, so, uh, all the people that claim that, for example, saying that made with me are. For example, if I'm someone who who say that uh, a saint ma made uh, with me a miracle, so I'm a liar, you know. No, but it might be true. Lie. Might be true. Maybe, maybe, maybe he did it. Why? Why not? I mean, you don't believe it. Maybe it happened with this person. So this is not. This is something. Why, no, let me why tell. Why not you. Jesus made it himself? 
because Jesus, he gave us, gave us ability, you know, he says, he's, you know, he gave us ability, you know, the, the disciple in his time, they went and they teach and they, they heal people and because they are going to witness to people because he is now in heaven. So he gave us ability and those who they are, the chosen one, not everybody, can do the miracle of God. God, he, he support them. So why not? Okay, okay. Why not? And, uh... There, there's uh, other uh, things that confuse me also. Mm, what is that? <clears throat> For example, I'm a Christian. If, uh, if Christianity was true, mm. so I'm, I'm so lucky to be Christian, you know? Okay. I, uh, because of my parents. But if if someone, for example, a Muslim who was born Muslim, if, if he, he was born a Christian, will be Christian. And But, but no, no, he's Muslim because he, he's born Muslim, you know? So uh, he don't have luck. No, so, you see, no, for us, no, no, luck, uh, no, we don't believe, we don't believe in that. First of all, first of all, you are you are not a Christian unless you ac accept Jesus as your savior. You being born yes. from a from a mother and a father, they are Christian. Doesn't make you Christian. This is false teaching. Yes. Does not exist in the but, Bible. But, 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 I, I understand. Yes, I understand you. Not. And my friend, what does have to do with uh, have adopt? Because if you are born of an Islam and you have a Muslim family, still you can make a choice when you become a man. You choose. You say, this time is yes. false. Christ is good. That's I want to follow Christ. So this is not an That's excuse. Choice. This is not an excuse. But uh, this choice is uh, reduced, you know. What reduced? Why, why, why in all, uh, for example, why in Saudi, in, uh, Saudi Arabia, hmm. all the people are Muslim? Why? Because they don't allow them to say uh, we we are converted, uh, but the, but there is yes. many people. There, no, but there is many people. They accept Christ oh, and they are saved. They are unlucky. They are unlucky. No. My friend, my friend, forget about lucky and unlucky. Still, you can be the lucky one by making a choice, because God He gave you a, ch a chance to accept Him. You do not need to go in the street and say, "Hey, I'm a Christian. Kill me." No, you can be in Saudi Arabia, worship Jesus, accept Jesus, and you are but a Christian. People are uh, a maximum two percent of the population. You know? My friend, that's that's that that is a false excuse because people in Saudi Arabia they can go to uh, different countries, you know, go and see them. Like in Ramadan, half of the country is abroad, you know, sex tourist. So if a sex tourist can leave the country just for sex, what about a person who became a Christian? Can't he leave the country and live in different place? He can. Yes. Okay. So this is not an excuse. <clears throat> no, but the biggest the biggest population of in the percentage of, of population in Saudi Arabia are Muslims. So, for example, in USA, no. In USA, my friend, my friend, what does have Christian. to do? What does have to do? What does have to do with the Christianity? Christ, no, he, he gave the message, and we are, my friend, you are wasting my time. You are, listen to me in, in YouTube. No, wait, no. no, just wait. Come on, you are. This is kids talk. <laughs> Excuse me, you are wasting my time. The population in Saudi Arabia are Muslims because the law does not allow anyone to be the different religion. Have you ever heard of a country have, have zero atheists? Impossible. Which means there's a lot of atheists, but nobody can say it. Which means there's many Christians, but they cannot say it. Which means there's many gays, but they cannot say it. So that, this is a silly argument. I mean, what does this have to do with it? No, this is because Islam is a terrorist religion that does not allow anyone to exist by force, by violence. But that will not change the fact that they are there. And that actually make it even better. Why? Because those who they are not saying they are Muslim, they will make their own society. And Islam will collapse sooner or later. Look what's happening right now in Saudi Arabia. It's collapsing. I mean, what is left of Saudi Arabia? They try to put themselves behind walls for centuries. And now, look, Go, read the news, festivals, music, party, you know, you name, it, you name it. That's it. And soon, they will say, just wait, it's just a matter of time. Uh, <clears throat> if you want me to call you in Skype, please text me in Skype, not here. Text me in Skype, says call me. Don't, te don't text me here. All right. We will call the one saying, call me. <coughs> Mute you too, please. Hello? Yes, we hear you. Go ahead, you're live on air. Yes, yes, I did. Okay. Yes, I did. All right. Okay, do you hear me? We do hear you. You are live on air. Go ahead. Okay. 
Ah, uh, yeah, okay. How are you? I'm um, all right. Go ahead to the topic. What do you like to okay? say to us? Yeah. What do you like to say with us? Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh. Thank you for calling me. I have your books. Okay. And I'm so excited. And very blast me. And I just wanna ask you. Uh, I really, really love all your books, and I read about uh, sex and Allah in volume one. Mm -hmm. And it's really deep and so sharp. So I'm interested to uh, uh, share this uh, to my people in Indonesia, but in Indonesia, Bahasa, but not with book. Okay. So I'm thinking about making uh, another channel about sharing this book per topic. So every day, every topic, so they can understand what is written on your books, but not making a new book. You got me? No, I don't understand really. You want to you, 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 you want to make channels? You said you want to make many channels? Yeah, yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking about that new channel, another channel to share what is uh, written on your book because it's really, you know, it's really amazing, you know. You okay. open it very clear and... We'll make a channel on YouTube and translate, so my, uh, translate my videos and feel free. I encourage all people to do that. Sure. <clears throat> uh, okay. So, no need to share about uh, your rights on your book. I don't understand what. So, I mean, uh, no. <laughs> so, you mean, you say that no necessary to explain about all your books. I mean, I don't need to explain, just want to share what is written on your book, that's all. But in my Bahasa, you know, yeah, every you day can. per topic, yeah, that's go what ahead. I mean. Go ahead, no problem. You can, uh, like, uh, you, really? have, you have a, uh, uh, yeah, you can share what, uh, like, it says uh, in page, really? no, page number, etc. Uh, in uh, uh, 6 and Allah, it says the following, translate for them, post it. Like, make quotation, small quotation, and post them, and make a, make a topic. Yeah. Yeah, but not the whole book, you know, just just a quotation, a small quotation, and you can post about it. Not the whole book. Nothing else. Sorry? Yeah, just, just about the point about the topic, what you're saying on your book. Do you hear me? I hear you, yeah. Hello, do you hear me? I do, go ahead. <clears throat> Hello? Okay, so... Yeah, of course not. I, I just want to share what is uh, you're saying on your book because it's really, you know, you... Um, my God, it's really deep and so sharp. I don't know. All right. I read it very crazy, you know. So about, I just read about uh, Sex sex and All of Volume 1 and for me it's really amazing. Just want to share about this book, not whole book, okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just about the point, what you're saying. No problem. Books. Yeah, go so ahead. If you, Feel free to do it, no problem. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Okay, wow, welcome. keep going, okay? All right, Just take care. Just keep to your best. All right, take so care. Proud of you, okay? God, That's God. all. God bless. Take care. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Right. God bless. All right. Yeah, if you want to make like a, to take a quotation from my book, because at the end of the day, my book is not really, I mean, you are quoting from the Muslim books. You know, I understand there's copyright over it, uh, but as long as you are not posting the book, you are, you know, you especially you are using your own language, no problem. Actually, uh, we are trying to translate my books to the Indonesian language, and uh, I'm waiting for a second book to be finished, and I will publish it for free in Indonesia. The same as I did for the first one. So my Indone the Indonesian people, I love them, and because they are poor, and nothing wrong with being poor, by the way, I love poor people, and that's why actually I share my book with the poor people for free. The Lord, He said, for free for you took, for free you give. So you know, yes, we need support. We need you know, we need to make living, but uh, as long as the Lord is providing me, so I don't see a reason for me not to give my book to the Indonesian for free. You know, the majority of them, they are very poor people, very be wonderful, beautiful people. So this is why I decide, okay, well, those people, they cannot afford even to buy my book. So are we going to stop them from reading the book because they don't have money? Absolutely not. And that's why we 
you know, I decided to give my book for free uh, in the Indonesian language um, as uh, Quran and science. Let us see if we have another caller, another person wanna want me to call. Okay. Let us see here, we have a person. <clears throat> I'm surprised we've not lost the internet yet. Usually we lose it, but maybe it's still early, not too much pressure on the... Oh, he did not answer. It says call declined, and he asked me to call and he declined the... Uh... Alright. Uh, my friends, my family, my brothers, my sisters. Islam is a threat only to the fool. If you are a fool, anything can be a threat to you. You see, why people they die because of diseases? Because we are fool about it. We have we are we are we, have, we are ignorant. One day, the flu used to kill tens of millions every year. Flu. Hello? Hello? Good evening, sir. Hey my friend, how are you? Good morning. I'm doing good, Mr. Prince. I'm sorry, I uh... The line was cut it all already. I'm waiting for your call. No problem, my friend. Go ahead. What do you like to say Not to us? Not only me, my family is also waiting for you. You call me today, I'm with my family. That's wonderful. I hope your family is doing great. Uh, you all want to say to Uncle Prince something? Hey. Say, come. My daughter wants to say something to you. <laughs> this is our day, okay? All right. <laughs> okay. Hello, Uncle Prince. Hello, hello, Uncle Prince. Hello, how are you? Fine. What's your name? My name is Christina. Christina, that's a beautiful name. My name is a Christian. Yes. Maybe one day, maybe, 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 maybe one day we can uh, like uh, you know uh, uh, play uh, uh, some football together. Do you like football or you, you like you don't like football? What kind of game you like? Football. I like most football. You like? Okay, that's good. Well, we can do yeah. that way maybe one day. And your and dad, like and your dad, he can watch. We will not let him play with us, you know. <laughs> yeah, we will. We will let him go wash the dishes, okay. maybe. Okay. The, <laughs> the second one is uh, my son. You want to tell you something? What do you want to say? Sure, go ahead. Hello, Christian, uncle. Hello, Christian. Prince. Hello, hello, my friend. How are you? Your name. What's your I'm What's your name? Good. What's your name? My name is Don Bosco. Don Bosco. What, what does that mean? Don Bosco is a saint name. Oh, okay. I get that because I, I was hearing I was hearing wrong. Okay, that's wonderful. All right. So, what do, do you do? You, do you go to school? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And going to school? Yes. Okay. You like school or you don't like it? Good. That's good. That's good because you know we need to learn and we need to earn uh, you know knowledge. Knowledge is very important, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Say yes. Yes. <laughs> it's okay. Anyway, uh, yes. there is one more smallest naughtiest person here. All right. I want to say something today. I am how, how are you, my brother? <laughs> I'm your son. You I'm your son. Oh no, you know I'm I'm your brother, my friend. I'm your brother. We are brothers. Okay. We are brothers in Christ. <laughs> okay, thank you. I tell your name. What is your name? Tell your name. What is your name? Your name. My name is James. His name is what? James. 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 Uh, okay, James Bond. Is that you? <laughs> Not yes. James. Future. Future. Ah, okay. I I thought your name is James Bond because I watch always your movies. Yeah, I love that James Bond. You love James Bond movies? Daddy watching? 
No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Mr. My brother, I'm sorry. I just make you happy also because of you have so many calls and so many tensions there. So I just put my family in together. I appreciate uh, it, my friend. Today, uh, today my, bro- my son and my daughter, they asked me, the James name is there in the Bible? I said, yes, there is. There is a chapter for him that is the brother of Christ. Yeah. I was teaching them my Bible to them. So they said, today Uncle Prince is calling me. I said, yes, Uncle Prince will be calling today. Us. I'm waiting for you. You call one more guy now. Uh, his name is also Paul, I think so, right? Yeah. You are saying Paul. I was. I said, this is my name. He's, he's calling. I'm, I'm waiting for you. Then somebody was, just somebody was came out. Right. I said, anyway, how are you, brother? I'm fine. Thank you very much for your call, my friend. Uh, and uh, okay. send my okay. greeting to your family and your wife. Everybody. Uh, God bless you all and everything. Uh, Brother Prince, yes. today uh, we, want to, uh, we want to talk about something, you know. Uh, yesterday evening, yesterday morning, today morning I came to the chat room. You right. put the timing, it's in the evening, you will be chatting with us. So I said, okay, fine. I said, uh, there is a one Muslim guy. You mentioned yesterday also, this guy was talking to you in the, in the chat room. Yeah. Uh, about the Adam's creating things, you know, I was uh, looking about that one also. Uh, he he made it. Yes, uh, today morning one chat one question. Uh, in John chapter, God uh, Jesus Christ said, "I will go and I will send you the Comforter." You know, he is he is mentioning his name is as a moment, but we all know that it's not that one truth. But this man never read it. But God will send a messenger that is by the Christ. But the one more thing you want to put it out there, you know, what is the meaning of God and the Lord? See, we have a two names very, uh, very connected with us. So I went and searching for this one, and I I found it out. God, you cannot see him, you cannot touch him. But the Lord, you can touch him. You can see him. You can hug him. He will. You can be in his bosom. That is the one John always do when he was with uh, with him. Uh, so the God uh, in the whole thing, God created everything is true by Jesus Christ only. We all believe that one because of that is the one God made the name God and the Lord. Right, Mr. Prince? What I'm I'm telling. So put it to the word to the people. What I'm asking uh, to know, understanding these things, everything, and uh, people cannot to do mistakes. This kind of words, and when they, especially they're talking to the Muslim people. Uh, and the one more thing I want to tell you: the God is not a shortcut. God is not a shortcut. They put OMG. I don't know why, why they're putting that one. Our God is shortcut. Uh, uh, I no idea why they're doing that one. Short, so sh- you, shortcut. Uh, Sorry, I didn't hear you. Shortcut. Uh, in the shortcut, they write only three three letters. Oh, like okay. OMG. OMG. Oh my God. Like that. You know, you're not supposed to do that one. That is the. Uh, I didn't really. I didn't uh, agree with that from my heart. My God is not a shortcut. Not like uh, yeah. uh, the other uh, other religion yeah, people. But... They use that word for them. Yeah, well, we understand people are chatting and sometimes it's faster, but uh, you are right. Like we don't say a, like a, a Christ, you say Christ. You don't say, you don't, you, you don't yeah. cut the word Christ, you put it as it is. You don't say Christmas by using X, that's that's false uh, because yeah. Christ is not X, you know. So you are right, no problem. So you just uh, bring this word, this, this John chapter. You said me one time, yeah. uh, I think... So yesterday he was telling to the in the in the in the meeting you said you know somebody asked you how many years you're doing i know you passed 2009 right ma all right i think so 2009 i met you in the in the chat room and in the youtube okay. so you are already in 2000 uh, 2020 so i know you you are doing this uh, this I'm watching you almost like 20, uh, 11 years to, you know, yesterday that man was asking you in the chat room, I think so. 
Yeah, well, I am doing and this for a long, long time. And you know, time, yes. does, time doesn't count, my friend. Yeah. Time doesn't count. What yeah. counts is what we accomplish. Yeah. What we accomplish that is, is what's important. True. Yeah. That is true. Thank you, Mr. Prince. And every day, every Friday, I will wait for you to call us and you to, you to talk to us because of this is, uh, you know, we love you. You know that I'm from India. I'm living in Saudi Arabia. You remember? Uh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Am? Yeah, I remember. No problem, my friend. Don't, yeah, don't, okay. don't, don't share too much information about yourself in, in life. Here, you know, what's important for us, that you are with us and we, we enjoy having you and your family yeah. and we pray that the okay. Lord will bless you. Okay, thank you, friends, and God bless you. Thank you, and Please bring that verse for me. The God, He will send the Messiah. It's only through by Christ. In the John chapter, these people they saying that is Muhammad. That is a false one. Please mm -hmm. bring it that one. Sure. And put it that one, so I can also uh, to see here, and I will listen to you all. all right. Okay. Okay, my friend. Thank you, my brother. Take care. And pray for me, and uh, I will get. Oops. And he but, doesn't want to see people. by mistake somebody called and we answer sorry uh, for paul we we hang up on you by mistake oh we hold put you on hold all right resume the call hey, hey, paul, paul, okay paul yeah thank Th you th thank you for calling my friend thank you god bless you, thank you take care take care yeah please just text me and i will call you back just text me and i will call you back <clears throat> Hello? Yes, you are live on air. Go ahead. Good morning. Hi. Hi, CP. Can you hear me? I hear you. Go ahead. Yeah, hi. Um, yeah, I just wanted to say that you're doing such a great job. Thank you very much. And um, I'm a Christian. Uh, unfortunately, I married a, a Muslim. <laughs> Unfortunately, okay. um, and uh, yeah, I just want to say how uh, you know, if anyone's thinking about marrying a Muslim, how difficult it is, <laughs> you know. Why you don't let your difficult life? Why you don't let your husband speak to me so we can make him leave this cult? Um, you know, I'd love that to happen, um, and um, I'd, I'm praying about it, but. You know, uh, you you speak to Muslims all the time, yeah. and uh, it's quite difficult because they they don't want to listen. I don't like worry. I will, I will I will I will I will make him listen. Don't worry. Just leave. The, you know, just just let him call me and leave the rest for me. Right. He will listen. He will see. Yeah, I mean the way you speak to people, you make them listen, and you talk so much sense. That uh, you know, I just think it's amazing. Um, I'm, we're so blessed to have you. Thank you. Um, and you giving so much knowledge to uh, to the world, really. And yeah. um, before um, I had um, listened to you, I didn't have that much knowledge about Islam, but now I do, and um, I'm educating myself and uh, my 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 children. That's wonderful. As well, because I have children uh, with him together. And uh, I listened to um, someone that you spoke to once, uh, another uh, woman who had uh, married uh, a Muslim as well. Yeah. And your advice was to, you know, educate yourself and educate your children. And that's what I'm trying to do, really. Because, exactly. uh, you know, I agree with everything that you say. And it's only when, like, you live with... Um, these people that you realize exactly uh what islam is exactly yeah you know so is your kids and, now and is your what, kids now christians pardon is your kids now christians um uh, well i teach them uh christianity mm. yeah and um and i um educate them and um you know my job as as their mother is to uh, you know give them the best advice I can as as a Christian mother, really. Uh, um, you know, at the end of the day, they will make their choices, but um, you know, time will tell. But I I'm doing the best I can, really. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. This is what happened when you marry from a Muslim. You are you are bringing division to the family. And a lot of risk yes. because you know uh, uh, 
usually Muslims they enforce their cult on others and so, uh, so if they enforce it in, in foreigners what about their children so they, they, they would try for sure to enforce his cult on his children because they are his children and according to Islam yes. the children of a Muslim man they are Muslims by birth so you have yes. to be careful and you have to give them extra education so they will not be infected with such a disease it's called Islam yeah yeah now I agree um, and you know just for uh, what I really wanted to say was, you know, to other women, um, because, you know, is uh, men can come across as being lovely and kind and, you know, loving and caring, and they will promise you the world. But um, like you said, in Islam, and they want you, um, you know, as a Christian, you can follow your religion as a Christian woman, but, uh, you know, they want their children to be Muslim. And a lot of women don't realize this um, when they uh, come into a relationship because um, they always say things like, oh, yes, we believe in this. We believe in this. We believe in the Bible. You know, Jesus is our prophet. But it's only later when you sort of go and understand um, everything that uh, you realize exactly it's completely different, isn't it? Yeah. It's... Um, it's just uh, um, a deception. Exactly, and a you know, complete, uh, and, a and I, I, I want to ask you how he, like, you know, I mean, you you married this Muslim man, and now how many yes. years you are married? How many oh, years? A long time. <laughs> do you, <laughs> At least twenty do you, years. Do you regret this marriage because he's a Muslim? Uh, I, I I I can't say. <laughs> Okay, I understand. I can't say this I, on. <laughs> I understand. I understand. It's, it's all right. So you know, what do you difficult. what do you advise women? What do you advise women? Do you advise women to to marry a Muslim man? Uh if you're a Christian, no. No. What no. if you, what if what if she's not a Christian? It's okay to marry a Muslim man. Cotton say that again. I mean, what if a woman she is a Hindu or atheist? Do you think she will have a successful marriage with the Muslim man? No, it's a difficult life. Difficult because, life. Uh, and you know, I want to ask you, your husband is a Middle Eastern? No. Okay, no. but do he, like he is uh, from different country originally? Uh, yes. Okay. How you know that he is not married in there, and uh, like three more women? Um, no, no, I know. I know for sure that he's well, not. I know, I know a lady. I'm not, I'm not trying to make you suspect. I know a lady yeah. who was married like you. She have kids from this man. And he go to vacation. Yeah. He he's, he was Jordanian. He go to vacation mm. to see his family. After twenty years, yeah. she found that he have two more wives living in Jordan. Yeah. And the vacation he go to spend it's to spend with his wives, not with his parents, as he claimed. Yeah. Almost twenty years, like you, you know. So after all those years, yeah, she I discovered mean, that he have a you I know. Think that, I think that thing uh, could happen to someone. It's very, very possible because, you know, people can be deceptive, you know, uh, men can be deceptive like that. Yeah, and, but he's, uh, he's a practice like in his life. you say that, you know, they're allowed to yeah. do, do things like that, but, um, Actually, you know, I don't think there's that's a, to me. There's a Muslim, but, there's a Muslim yeah. website, it's a, there's a fatwa about a woman, she asked, maybe you can search for it, a woman, she asked the sheikh that uh, this, my husband, he did marry me and he lied to me. He said to me that I'm the only wife. And later I discovered that he went to, I think it was Jordan too. He went to Jordan yeah. and he have he married another woman. So what, what, yeah. what is the opinion of Islam about that? He said to her that first of all, you have no right to ask him that question. Secondly, yeah. he can lie to you because the prophet, he said so. So you are marrying a man. He is allowed to cheat with four women because this is a cheat and this is not marriage. And by signing the contract, it's called marriage, if you can call it this way, uh, you are agreeing that this person, he can share with you three more women, and you cannot question that. Mm. So why, it will, yeah. not, why will, it will not happen to you? I don't know. I know. It, it's possible. You know, yeah. it can happen to anybody. Um, and like I said, my advice, don't do it. <laughs> yeah. Just don't do it. That's you know, there's... There's um, many, many um, other people out there, right. and just don't be deceived. The because, world is full of you know, millions right, of women's men. Women's rights are quite difficult, um, and um, just being independent. And uh, you know, I have to fight 
fight for my rights. You know, fight for my right, the rights of my children right. as well. You have to be a strong person. Exactly. You know, to be to mar- to be married and strong in the Lord. Really strong in the Lord. Uh, but um, you know, they will pick on people who they think that um, are vulnerable. Yeah. Or easy targets, and you know, we we as Christians are quite loving, loving people. Exactly. And um, sometimes uh, that love can be a weakness, but it can be a strength as well. You know. Well, a strength after you learn and after you suffer, after etc. That will be your strength. That is going to be like too much pain, right? It is. It's very <laughs> painful. It can be very painful. Yeah. Yes. But. but um, yeah, there's so many other things that I want to talk to you. Maybe one day, no problem. Um, I can get my husband to to give you a call. Sure. Um, uh, the other thing that I wanted to ask you was, you know, you know the uh, um, the Quran so well. I, what, how, what's your advice on uh, sort of gaining all this information? Like, um, I'm trying to listen to you, and I'm trying to sort of uh, understand everything and keep it in my brain. And uh, what what's the best way? Best of, way um, to what? Of, uh, oh, yeah, go on. I, I lost you, Hello? sorry. Yeah, 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 best way for what? Um, what's the best way of learning the Quran and, uh, you know, being able to sort of defend Christianity like you do? You, you come up with uh, all this knowledge and how do you keep it all? <laughs> what's the best way to learn? Well, the best way to learn first is to read and check out what, uh, like what you, what, let us say, there's many sources of learning. Like when I was a kid, only uh, reading, right? Uh, today, we have more, uh, you know, uh, we are more lucky. Like now, uh, you have somebody going live on air and he's uh, reading for you, show, sharing information, which is going to take you maybe forever yourself to find yeah. it. But after that point, you have to take notes, you have to read, you have to do study more so you can keep that information in your head. And then you can transform this information into something you use in your own way. You know, it's like, a, yes. you know, like you go to a Home Depot and here you say like it's a it's a warehouse where people buy cement, uh, concrete, wood. But Home Depot will not build a house for you. You buy that's just the, the, uh, the material. Right. So I provide yes. you with the material and then it's your duty to build your own house of information in the way which is fit with you and your ability. Okay. You know? Mm-hmm. So you can have a beautiful house of, of, of knowledge, which always will be helpful for you in any topic you involve. Because what we talk here about, not only about Islam, we talk about everything. So the more we know, the more we are capable of solving problems, and the more we are uh, confident. You know? Yeah. Uh, and the last thing that I wanted to say was that I remember one of your callers once, uh, Abbas, and he said, you know, um, we're allowed to marry uh, Christian women, you know, mm. and we're allowed to do this and we treat our women well. And, you know, Abbas, that's not true. Not at true, absolutely. It just isn't true. You know, even your, your own women are not kept well. Even um, Aisha, she said, I never saw a suffering woman as much as a believing woman. Aisha herself. Exactly. So yeah. Aisha, the mother of the believers, as they call her, she is saying that nobody suffer as much as a Muslim woman, which means in this case, she is a wife at the end of the day of a Muslim man. And the Quran, the book of Allah, allowed the Muslim men to be their wife. This is how harsh this cult is, because if Islam is a good religion, will never allow the man to use his hand against his wife. You know, you are not good with her. I mean, the divorce in Islam is so easy. It's, just, it's, it's a, Actually, you can t- a divorce women in Islam by text message. So if she is not good for you and Islam allow you to, to, to divorce her, why you want to use her your hands to beat a woman to make her obedience, as the Quran said, which means Islam using terrorism with women. Mm-hmm. So the first terrorism started in Islam is inside the house, indoor. There's indoor terrorism. The man, he beat the wife to make her obedience. And that is nothing but terrorism. So what, what is the purpose of terrorism? I scare you and then I subdued you. Yes. You know? And, and this is a... put fear. Yeah, they put fear put in fear your... In, f- into physical people, physical into, fear, mental know, fear, humiliation everything fear. Is, everything is about, you know, control. 
exactly but they use they use yeah. all kind of reasons or let's say uh, source of control uh, including yeah. violence with women so uh, uh, if you if you are going to marry a Muslim man you have to be ready that this person his religion is not being a bad if he did beat you he is not being bad yeah. according to Islam if he humiliate you if he jeer you in your room he is just practicing his right as a Muslim to beat you for this is the teaching of Allah and the Muslim they try to make it nicer they say first and second this, this does not exist first the man he can admonish you how he admonish you he scream in your face this is his right and then he can refuse to share bed with you this is a Muslim translation the fact it says المضاجر. is your bedroom not only the bed so he will jerry in your room he have many wives to sleep with them so he will let you live like there like a rat and he will start sleeping with the rest of the women and you will be felt like you are you are you are isolated you are no one he can do that for a year he can do that for two years it's up to him and then if you want he can go farther and he can beat you and why is that because supposedly Allah is trying to make you subdued how Allah will make you subdued without beating you he cannot do that he have to use violence and women always because you know they are weaker than men physically usually not always uh, you can beat them but what if your wife she is more powerful than you can you practice beating with the women? You cannot. She will beat the hell of you, right? So Muhammad is taking advantage of the weak physique of a, of a woman, which is a shameful behavior, because a man who beat his wife is a coward man. A man who beat a woman, generally speaking, is a coward man. Because if you are really a man, you will never let put your hand on a woman. And no matter what happened, you know, push her away. Even if she's trying to beat you, push her away, you know, but you don't beat her back because you are a man. And, you know, if you beat her, you might even kill her. So uh, uh, stupidity and cowardness, they join together to trying to solve a problem. What is the problem? We are trying to make the women obedience. But if you make the women obedient to you by beating her, do you think she loves you more now or she hate you more? Do you think the kids? Do you think of the kids will? I, I mean, a lot of men don't beat. They they use their su superiority. No, my um, friend, really. you live in the you West, know? don't you? Don't you live um, in the West? They 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 feel it's that you know they are more superior. They yeah. have the right. They've been given the authority. You know. Um, but but you live in the West, they, uh, don't you? Don't you live in the West? Yes. Okay, and this is why he is not beating you. What about you go to Iran? There's a there's a movie. It's called yes. Not Without My Wife. Go and see what happened to the women. So if you if you yes. live if you live in their countries, then he will beat the hell of you. But now because you can call the police in, in the Middle East, if you call the police, says my husband beating me, the police will laugh at you. He says he have the right to beat you. He's not breaking the law. Yes, of course. No? Yeah. Yeah. No, you hear about all these things, um, and yeah, it does happen. You're right. Yeah. You're absolutely right. All right, my friend. Well, but, I, I, yeah. I hope you will be able soon to convince him to call me, so maybe we can uh, uh, change the, change your life and his life for something better, and the whole family will be saved from such a cult. And I will be happy to talk to him in private as as long as it takes. If you don't want to go yes. live on air, I will be happy to talk to him in private. Yeah. No. How's that, oh, what do you think is a good way of trying to convince him to speak to you? Well, you like, can. You we, can. We've got to a stage where we, we don't really talk about religion anymore. Hmm. Well, you know, I don't know. You know, you know your husband more than me for sure. I have no idea who's he. But uh, the maybe the best way is to uh, to show him that this person is really, really, really changing my mind about Islam. And you, it's your time to stand as a man. Don't you want to stand for him? Like use his arrogant as a man. To make him stand up to fight this guy not physically for sure like okay I'm going to get this Christian prince busted for you so what about you do that like say to him that they don't actually know about their religion uh, they're probably quite fearful of, of contacting you well but you know you have to uh, uh, to find a way to make him encouraged to call me and maybe because uh, yeah. you know usually uh, Muslim men they like to be uh, to be called the lion of the house like you are my lion you know like uh, okay we have a guy there you can eat him alive i want to see you doing that you know call him so let us see how the lion will turn into a cat after he call me okay all right well thank you my okay, friend for calling yeah god thank bless you. you anyway carry on doing what you're doing it's it's absolutely brilliant thank you very much god bless you thank you bye bye thank you yeah, as you see, married to a Muslim is a very, very, very bad choice. 
different religion, different culture, different everything different, and they don't respect women. They don't. They don't. Even Muhammad he said most of women they are going to end in hellfire. Muhammad he said women are half a brain, half religion. They have deficiency in their mind and they have deficiency in their brain. So when a Muslim man he speak to you, he speak to a deficiency creature. I'm not making things up. Here we go. I will work for you on the screen. They believe that you are a person with deficiency. And you know what? A person who believe a woman have deficiency, obviously he have deficiency because you know, uh, intelligence is something personal. My mother, my mother, I don't have intelligence as she do. This woman, she knew the Bible by heart. You don't even need to open the page. You do not even, you know, and not only that, you should hear her answers about the Bible. No bishop can debate her. No priest can beat her explanation. And she is a woman. Oh, for sure, my dad is the same. But he, she's a woman. And, you know, I, I remember when I go to exam, she knew all my books. She knew them by heart. It's my book. I am the student, not her. And I'm studying Islamic law. So saying women, they have deficiency in their brain. It's obviously coming from somebody have deficiency in his brain. And why women, they have deficiency in the brain, according to Muhammad? Because they have their period. Look how stupid he is. In spite of your liking in wisdom, lacking of in wisdom and failing in religion, you are depriving in the, in the rest of men in their intelligence. The women, she said, okay, what is our deficiency in our, uh, deficiency in our wisdom and our religion? And then Muhammad, he gave them the proof that Muslim women, they don't pray to Allah when they have their period. And the second deficiency about their intelligence, uh, because one man uh, is equal to two women as witnesses in Islam. So they put you down, they humiliate you, and then they say this is the proof. How in the world, you know, I mean, I, I she, she did marry the Muslim already, and that... This cannot be fixed. That's it. You know, she have kids. But if you are a female thinking ever about marrying a Muslim, you are making a big mistake. Actually, I remember once uh, uh, I was in debate with a Muslim person, but that was in Paltok. And uh, uh, the, the debate about beating women. The guy, he's explained, he said, so what? We beat women. You know, women are stupid. Women are etc. He says that. And then... The second day I opened my Skype, I saw my pal talk, and I found a long message from a woman I do not know. I have no idea who she. She said to me, thank you very much, etc., 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 you changed my life. What I did, she said, yesterday it was my wedding day. I'm dressed to go for the wedding, waiting for my limousine. I get so bored, I'm nervous, I don't know what to do. I went to Pal Talk, which is a chat program I go to. And then I open and I found a room full of people. At the top of the room, it says, Beating Women in Islam. The name got my attention. I get there. And I was terrified when I heard the Muslim explaining that, yes, we can beat the women. We have the right to beat the women. We said, let us, let us, we will call you back, please. Let us, I will call back those who they are trying to call us. Or they say, don't call me, I will, I will call you. Don't call me. Just text me, says, can you call me, please? I will Because I have to take you in order. A person who texts me before you. Uh, okay, let us see. Uh, just I want to say, I learned much from you. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, can I call you? Okay, let's see this lady. This lady, she have a very uh, special story. She sent me text messages. Hello? 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 Yes, you are live on air. Okay. Thank you, How are you? Uh, the sound is very bad. Uh, sorry, no, I, I have to hang up on you. The, the sound is very, very bad. 
uh, maybe you have a phone next to the computer or something making this uh, you know uh, the sound is very bad uh, let me see another another person hello 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 all right well I have to hang up on you sorry let us try the lady again maybe the sound will be better now All right, the sound now is better. You are live on air. Go ahead. Hello, can you hear me? Uh, we, we do. Go ahead. Hello? I hear you. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Listen to me from the sky, Hello? please. I hear you. Okay. Hi, Zibi. I just, I just want to say thank you for you because um, uh, maybe you already read my message on your I, yes, I did. Uh, I did the mood. I did muta before okay. in the last year with the uh, Iraq man, and then uh, in that time I don't know about what is muta is. I'm a Christian, hmm. but I did many many uh, opposite with the Christian Christian okay. Christianity uh, teach. And then, yeah, thanks for the video about the Muta. So I, I, uh, I opened my mind, I opened my heart, and then I realized it's, 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 it's not good. So you told me in that, okay. okay, I understand you, you did something wrong, and, and it's, not, it's not the teaching of Christ, very wrong. But you say that the, the man in the text, he paid you, he paid you to marry him, is that correct? So for Muta? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And what he, how this happened, like what he told you? Uh, he paid me for a one year. One year muta, okay. And, yes, he mm. paid me. For and one why? Year. And what he explained to you why he want to pay you for one year? What, what he said to you then? In that time, I don't know about the muta is. Okay, so what he told you? Okay, he told you so, I want to marry you for one year. Uh, actually, it's not one year yet. It's not over. Huh. It's not over yet. Uh, it will be over in uh, in, in in June. Next okay. June. So what he what but, he said to you exactly? He said to you, but, I, "I want you to marry me for one year." Yeah, until next June. Okay, so he he said to you, "I want to marry you until next June," and he is from Iraq, correct? Yes. And he will pay you yes. money to marry him for one year. And uh, he come he came to to my country right now. Yeah. And then in the, in the last last Christmas, I talked to him. I want to stop it, hmm. and then and and then he said to me, "I already pay you for 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 one year." So I I asked him, "Should I should I pay you back? Should I give you money back?" And then he said, "Yes." So hmm. okay. So he so he <laughs> so he used you, and now he is. Uh, if you if you want to be free from his uh, muta contract, he wants the money back. Yes, and I give it. I, I give the money back to him. Hmm. And and then uh, actually. But, but why you uh, why you accept why you accept a man to use you in such a way, so he pay you for one year and you will be his wife for fun. If we can call it wife. But then I, I cannot hear it. Why, why, why you accept? Can you repeat why, again? Why you accept it? Why you accept it that a man, a Muslim man, he claimed that this is marriage. He told you, "I will marry you for one year." Why you accepted that? I, I, I don't know. It's, a, it's a very, very big mistake. And, and then I don't want to say I, I like him or I love him. I don't want to say it. I just, I just feel comfort. I don't know because, uh, because he is in, in, in the first time he's a good man. And I think he will be continue from, uh, uh, to be my real husband for hmm. my future. So he convinced because you. He, you wanted you wanted to have a real husband. You wanted to have a family, 
and he, that made you agree to marry him but then you not you did not know about the muta then you notice he's just doing muta right yeah he don't want to marry you for real he just want to have fun and use you it's kind of prostitution okay. this is exactly what he's doing with you he for you he said this is marriage but in fact he's doing prostitution yeah uh, i realize it right now yeah that's why uh, in 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 last October or uh, September I forgot about it. I watch your video about the muta. I think it's that's a not new video. It is. I think it's maybe in in, in two thousand eighteen maybe that video. Mm -hmm. And then I I learn about it and I realize and then. You know, actually, in my country, so many, so many Indonesian, uh, so many women married with the Muslim men hmm. because uh, some some imam here said, if you want to uh, make a Muslim big, you have to marry the the, the Christian man, the Christian woman. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, and then before before I was married with the Muslim men also. Mm. So yeah, so many, so many mistaken ideas before. I see. And then, yeah, but yeah, I just, I just want to say thank you for you. So many, so many things I learned from your video, and uh, the the muta is very, very, it's very, very disgusting. And then I feel, I feel so guilty because I'm, I did it. Yeah. Well, and, I advise uh, you. I advise you, my friend. I advise you to repent to the Lord and you know it's a, it's a great that you are saying I did sin I committed sin I did many wrong and look you are brave even to say it in public I really admire that in you but now the question is are you going to do what you used to do before tomorrow uh, if a Muslim man uh, now he I... offer you he want to do muta or a Muslim man want to marry you for fun you know vacation wife are you going to accept that just because he give you some money? No more. That's good. Well, I I know I no I, I I pray that this you. This is the you... last. This is the last, and I I decided to 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 go to bring bring it back to him. Hmm. Oh. All things what what he, he he gave to me, I will I will give him back. All right. Well, I I pray that you you repent to the Lord, and you will never. Live the past life and you change your life and then you will feel better and you will be a better person But if you keep going in the way you used to be Then nothing change on you and you did not fix anything and you will be in the victim for of many people will use you They will they will marry you. They will use you. It's not it's, this is not marriage by the way This is nothing but a the prostitution. They call it marriage, but for us this is a prostitution So they will use you and they will, they will use you like a towel just to wipe their face with it or maybe something yeah. else and then they will throw you uh, like a like an, a dirty uh, uh, towel they use and abuse so why you wanna why you let them yeah. to do that to you but then why why i why you will let them do that to you and you should know now by now that this should never happen again Sorry, I, I cannot hear you. Yeah, it's okay. Listen, me listen to me. Listen to me from YouTube. Listen to me from YouTube. Yeah. Anyway, this is a great, great example how they go to poor countries like Indonesia. This lady, she's an Indonesian. Um, poor, you know, poor in Indonesia, they are poor. Women, many women, they have needs. They go there. They have some dollars, many dollars in their pocket. They come to you and look. The Muslim is very conservative. He's not doing prostitution. Haram. It's haram. So he rent the women. And yet they call it Mustajara, rented women. This is Islamic website, islam.org, explaining to us what is the idea of renting women in Islam. Is it me who is saying this is renting women in Islam? Absolutely not. Read. Muta is, 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 is the same as temporary marriage. Most of them agreed, you know, with the conditions of it. Uh, in some work special term is applied to women who participate in muta, musta'ajara, or rented women. Do you see the word rented women? Muta are considered as a kind of rental. Because, in general, a man's basic aim is a kind of, of marriage, is sexual enjoyment. This is Islam, my friend. Islam is religion, literally, sexual religion cult. 
It's a sexual religion cult. Garbage in, garbage out. This is Islam. Rented women. Imagine rented women. Rented women. So this Muslim man, if he have a sex with this woman and he rented her, and then he have a baby from her, then the baby one day he will grow as a man and he will tell him, "I rented your mom. I what? I I rented your mother. Your your mother. She was a rented woman." Yeah, I will post the link for you guys so you can share it. Anyway, guys, I really have to go. I have some uh, business to do. I wish I can stay longer. I have an appointment. People are coming. And I have to uh, get ready. I'm still wearing my short. And it's almost time. So I'm really grateful for having all those who call us. Uh, you know. And watch for yourself. Watch for yourself. Watch for your kids. Watch for your family. Don't be a fool. All right? So I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we pray that nobody can fool us. No fool can fool us. Because Muhammad is a fool. If Muhammad the fool can fool you, how fool are you? If a person who promise you endless private part and women and whiskey and black label and all those stupid things in a heaven, as he call it, if a man like this can fool you, how fool are you? You must be a horrible fool. So don't let the fool fool you. That is a shame. He's a fool. Yet he can fool you. That is really crazy. So thank you very much for being here. May the Lord bless you, and until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord, Islam is false, and love you all. Bye-bye.